Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Well, what a difference a day makes weather-wise, uh, courtesy of last night's uh, Arctic cold front. Again, a glancing blow of it here. Our temperatures look like this at 517 in the evening. It is 54 degrees. 50s rule the entire region in the coastal bend. A little warmer near the water. We have dropped 18 degrees from this time yesterday. Beeville is 24 degrees cooler, so definitely different, and the dew point temperatures are way down. And this is the area where our temperatures would go tonight if we had clear skies and no wind, like last week when we hit 33 degrees. But because the uh, winds are blowing, we won't see these dramatic drops, but the dew point temperature is down 35 degrees. So if your skin feels dry, getting a little static electricity in and around the house. This is the reason why, because the air is very dry, but it's about to moisten up a bit, and we're protected by this warmer water, the intercoastal and the uh, Gulf of Mexico there, with these winds now turning east-northeast to northeast across the region. They happen quickly because the jet stream overhead is moving very fast. The winds there are over 100 miles an hour, and that's why our weather's changing quickly, not only from day to day, but almost from uh, hour to hour. So Future Tracker shows these winds staying out of the northeast and being a little breezy overnight through 7 o'clock in the morning. So this is the reason we will not freeze in the area tonight. And northeasterly winds continue to be a little on the frisky side here tomorrow. And with cloudy skies, not going to be a very nice day. I think this holds our temperatures in the upper 50s. Today we had sunshine in 50s. Tomorrow we're going to have clouds in 50s. And then on Thursday morning, the winds start to relax a bit as we get a little light rain moving in from the southwest. That light wind regime continues right on through noon on Friday. Short-term forecast has a mix of sun and clouds through sunset. Then we'll drop into the 40s. I think this is a little aggressive on the 30s here, but uh, we do have a shot at seeing that. And I'm predicting low temperatures like this. Again, 37 officially out at the airport, out to Sinton and Robstown, 33 in George West. There have been several freezes in this part of the coastal bend uh, the, so far this winter, but we haven't had a freeze at all here in the city and temperatures along the coast will be in the 40s tomorrow morning. So the front is now out in the central Gulf of Mexico. Here is the surface low. This is a big blizzard-like storm system with that cold blast of air in that region. For us, we have this surface low out to the west. It'll be spreading clouds our way overnight and tomorrow. They're doing so right now. Take a look at the, the upper level winds. This is a piece of that polar vortex that broke off from up here uh, in uh, Greenland and Iceland. Bitterly cold, high temperatures up there, minus 5 to minus is 20, but the wind chills are really something. But notice how it moves away quickly and low pressure takes its place and comes in with milder air here for the latter part of this week and the upcoming weekend. Notice on Saturday night and into Sunday, we're kind of in between systems. So the weather looks pretty good here for Super Bowl Sunday. Now the temperatures, this is dramatic. 20 below in International Falls right now. Minneapolis is 18 below and it's only 19 in St. Louis. So these are frigid, frigid temperatures. But when you throw in the wind chill feels like 45 below. I mentioned last night that freezes uh, flesh, exposed flesh, your face, your hands in less than five minutes. And that's when, uh, when that happens, uh, the skin dies and you've got all kinds of problems. So again, brutally cold there, expected to go to 60 below, 60 below on the wind chill tomorrow night up in the upper Midwest. There's the clouds in the morning. They stay with us all day, but no rain tomorrow. And then on Thursday, a different story. Light showers developing and picking up through the afternoon hours. And then more isolated showers here on Friday. So the wettest day of the week on your NEC Co-op Energy 7-day forecast is Thursday. Chilly and 59 tomorrow. No freeze. Scattered showers here for Thursday. Then a few showers for Friday and Saturday. We'll break out to mostly cloudy but warm and well into the 70s for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. There are no cold fronts, Paulo, in our seven-day forecast. All right, Dale, thank you for that.